six years ago, 2013, JCWA made its premiere. Not too long after, I made my debut. Gosh, I remember that year as if it was yesterday. I competed at the biggest stage in JCWA, Showdown. And then a year later, I make the biggest statement of my career. Basement Rumble 2014, I defeated legends, icons, anybody who was somebody, I beat them. Fast forward five more years, the year is now 2019. Somebody has the chance to do something remarkable. See, we have nine competitors. We have icons in the making, icons on their ways to become legends. We have princes of showdown, new guys, nice guys, reapers of the night, prodigies of the BX. Even a mystery man, we don't even know who it is. It could be anybody. All fighting for the chance to make the biggest statement in JCWA history and becoming the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. Now see, it would be me if I weren't still recovering from what the Reaper crew did to me after my match with Aaron Benam at Backyard Brawl. But, I digress. To the competitors, good luck, fight hard, make the biggest statement of your career. But just know, to whoever the last man standing is, I'll be coming for you. Welcome. It's a JCWA Platinum Tournament.
This is the person I need to talk to. Look. I know I said some things. I know I might have gotten to you. But everything I said was to motivate you. Motivate me? Yes, motivate you. You know why? Because you act like Reaper Crew is not in this tournament. You act like you're not a threat. And you need to realize, if you win this match against me and Xavier, if they are in, if they win their matches, you still have to deal with them. And I need you to understand that. They're still a factor. So, what I said was to, you know, bring that out of you. It wasn't anything personal. And you proved to me at the Path to Platinum tournament that you had balls. You, you approached Reaper Crew on your own, without me. You fought the fight you had to fight. I was there. We both, we both got it on. So what I need you to do for me is I want one of us to walk out the winner. So we, we might have to team up on Xavier, you know? What do you say? The only reason why I have been hesitant against the Reaper crew because I don't want to have to be like them to beat them. But you do have a point. We have to deal with them whether we choose to or not, especially since they're both in the So I guess if it comes down to it, it better me than you than Xavier. And a better man win. Glad you see him out with Yeah, you're a man. Well, well. Hey, look who it is, the Black Stallion. How's it going? Bus. Congratulations on your qualifying scramble win. Yeah, man. You're actually gonna be in a tournament too. That's, that feels good to hear, fellas. You know, I, I had no idea, and I'm pretty sure that none of you guys had any idea that I'd be the winner. You did what you had to, man. Put on a good show. <laughs> Look how cute you guys are. I don't think we've officially met. Same Not Aaron, even right? representative. Same Aaron. You got it. Man, not this guy again. Look, congratulations, bud. Come on. You earned that victory. I mean, it only took you three tries, but come on, you got it, right? Now look, I don't know if you realize it, but you have a chance to make history. You all do. Look, man, I don't care who you are. You don't need to do me any favors. And you want to know why that is, Sam, was it? Sam Aaron, management representative. Whatever. It's the reason is because I prefer to do things my way. Look, man, you got a chance here. These two chumps are too caught up in their own beef and their own personal problems to get anything done in this tournament. You this is your be. shot. Considering you're in the Reaper pocket, you know, it's funny how they weren't allowed in the tournament as soon as you show up. They just get a spot. But again, again what do I know, man, man, representative? Look, the only pocket I'm in is the pocket of justice and the pocket of fairness. And that includes for you two. You all have a chance to be the first ever, first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. Do you realize how big that is? Do you realize how huge that is? Put your personal problems aside. Do what you have to do to pick up the victory. This is history, gentlemen. And here's a quick recap of JCWA Platinum Path to Platinum Tournament, our mini event at Episode 6 of Platinum Season 6. This Path Tool featured a qualifying scramble match where the lucky winner enters the JCWA Platinum Tournament for the JCWA Platinum Championship. A match where the first pinfall or submission makes you temporarily qualified. And if somebody pins or submits that person, they are now temporarily qualified. And whoever is temporarily qualified by the time the 8 minute timer runs out, they win. This temp position went from the match debuting Jeremy Rodriguez to Reaper Crew member James Van to High Energy's Nazir Campbell and back to James Van before Marlon Black ultimately picked up the victory in this seven man match. JCWA Platinum Tournament begins right now. No matter, no matter what, what, we take this Platinum Championship home. That's right. No matter what. 
That's good. That's good. Sorry, I'm late, guys. Again, fashionably late. What? I, so I've, been, I've been suffering a really bad injury. My arm got thrown out. Well, so you couldn't, you couldn't, you cut off all your contacts. You just couldn't get to us. I've, I've been working behind the scenes, man. I've been looking for potential prospects. Sure. You know, I've always voiced my opinion that we, we get we that. Should, but you should be here. You should be here with us. Yeah, just because I'm not in the picture doesn't mean I'm not in the picture. I mean, you already know we all have jobs that we do. I was doing mine. You know how I think this should be a four-man group. I was looking at business ventures and potential prospects. I might be out of commission. I don't know. My shoulder. That that pull tore it out. Can't even wash my own back. My arm comes out. I mean, James, I mean, I understand that, but... You gotta let us know, bro. Like, we're, we're the three man wrecking crew. No, I know we are, but I'm always gonna be there. And just so I don't let you down, I'll prove it to you guys. I'll be there tonight to help you in your matches. No way. No. Yeah, um, look, I understand that you wanna help, but tonight we gotta do this alone. We, we have to make sure that we come out victor. I, I understand, but I'll still try and help. No, I, I don't know, man. No, no, just... James, it's, it's fine. I promise. Just leave it. Lay your arm here. Promise. It's fine. All right. All right. Whatever. Yeah. 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 Don't don't forget potential prospects. Listen, you go out there, you do your thing. Yeah, man. And see where it goes from there. Take care. You get ready for yours. Is this how we're going to start one of the biggest events in JCWA history? The JCWA Platinum Tournament. Justin Cruz just attacking Marlon Black on his way to the match. Taking him out in Marlon Black's biggest opportunity in his JCWA run thus far. Look at this partner. He, Justin Cruz, the most opportunistic person in the tournament. Look at that. He's going to do whatever it takes to take home the JCW Platinum Champion. Oh, you say that like it's a good thing, partner. Justin Cruz doing what he did, not even giving Marlon Black a fair chance. And as for Sam Aaron, I can't believe he rang the bell after some nonsense like that. Not even getting this match under control like he says he is. And Brandon Cox, as you saw there with a replay of Bulldog by Marlon Black trying to get his hits, trying to do what he can after that unfair and disgusting attack by the leader of Reaper Crew, Justin Cruz. You hold the wait a minute now, partner. You just wait. Sam Aaron is the only person who's going to call this entire tournament down the middle. That is why he is here. I guarantee you. Oh, yeah. 
Sam Aaron's gonna call this down the middle, right? And you know what? I don't know why you would think a person like that would call this match down the middle, considering he's the type of person that actually went and talked to Marlon Black, trying to get him to cheat, trying to tell him the only way that you will win this tournament, that you will get wins and opportunities, is to play unfair. Get over here. Hi, what? Tell me what to do. <laughs> Just unnecessary filth, and finally Brandon Cox decides to participate in this match with uh, both of these men doing a suplex. Look, look, look at yourself, partner. Martin Black should be very lucky he's in this match. He gave him the opportunity to be in this match. He gave him the tools to oh, tell man. people, tell him how to defeat everyone in this tournament, and it is up to Martin Black to use it now. Obviously, as you know, partner, throughout the season, the history between these two, season six of JCWA Platinum, Brandon Cox, ooh, ooh, taking out Marlon Black, throwing him into trash, and then on the Christmas special, episode five, Marlon Black got his revenge with the big boot. Both of these guys were going at it, and now they get to go at it in this tournament, but not if the leader of Reaper Crew, Justin Cruz, has anything to say about it. Look, partner, he spent an entire season telling everyone oh, he will suplex. he will capture this champion this is his moment and these two people are just roadblocks in this match you see them teaming up right now this is temporary just Cruz has got it in the bag Marlon Black had to actually go through a qualifying scramble at Path to Platinum Tournament in order to secure a position, a huge position, because this is a huge event, that being whoever wins this tournament will become oh, an adventure by Brandon Cox. Go for the cover. The first ever JCWA Platinum Champion, but it doesn't look, look like that. it will be Marlon Black. Look at that. He didn't even use the skills and the tips Aaron gave him, and he is out now. It is down to Justin Cruz and Brandon Cox. Oh, come on, partner. Honestly, I would rather do things the fair way and take my losses. You see this guy? He was having trouble with him. In order to get victories. Marlon Black, I'm sure his day will come. I guarantee you that. But right now, we have the veteran, the all-star, Brandon Cox, and the leader of the Reaper crew, Justin Cruz, one-on-one. -on -one. one of these men will win this match and move on to the final three-way elimination match, where the winner of that will, of course, become the first ever JCWA Ooh, Platinum Champion. I told you, partner, you know my picks, and this, oh, no. the strategic, is he going to get it? Oh, almost, but the veteran, Brandon Cox, Still has some fight left in him. Brandon Cox just pretty much being a nuisance to anybody and everybody. Even crossing paths with Damian Jenkins a couple of times during season six. Recently getting his job back in the JCWA. All thanks to Sam Aaron. Don't you question me. This is my show. There's no way he's going to defeat this guy right here, right now. No matter how many times he appeared on Platinum. Justin Cruz prepared for this tournament. He prepared for it. Look at that. Oh, man. And right here, proving what you're saying. Oh, with another suplex. I'm not a huge supporter of either of these men, partner. But I cannot deny the strength of both of these competitors. The heart. The stamina. The just will to win. The drive that both of these competitors have. Ooh, Brandon Cox being a veteran. And Justin Cruz on his way to being a veteran. As we see the replays of man. When Marlon Black was taken out. Brandon Cox crawling to his feet right now because he is at his own defeat now. There's no way he can get past the leader of the Reaper crew right now. And I honestly believe that. Oh man. Folks, this is a huge four match event. We are witnessing history crowning the first ever platinum champion. These two men fighting with all that they got in order to go to the Stagering. finals. Is he gonna do it? Oh. Is he gonna do it? The Doomsday oh. Power Slam! One! One! Could that be it? Three. It's over! That's Justin it. Cruz of the Reaper Crew moves on. Yes! Oh, I told you, partner! No one can come again. This is Justin Cruz's year and he's going to prove it no matter what. My God, Justin Cruz completely taking out Brandon Cox. Again, as we can see this replay, devastating suplex, but nothing as devastating as the Doomsday Power Slam.
Doomsday indeed. The seed for Brandon Cox. This this might be his year. You never know. I won't go down the road. What? Cameraman, you're looking for an explanation for me, right? Guess what? I don't know you and I don't know anybody else an explanation. What you saw out there, that was real. That was me delivering on what I said what was going to happen. This, this platinum tournament is happening now. And nobody's going to stop me. My brother Joshua Lee, I have faith in you. Like nobody else has faith in us. We're going to take home this JCWA Platinum Championship. You mark my words. Tonight is the night to silence the doubters, to, to end the critic. That's it. Because this is our time. And, and another thing, Jonathan Ortiz. You, you got me real good last time. But you know what? Tonight, I, I hope it's you and me. You know why? Because I'm going to punch you square in the mouth and I'm going to embarrass you tonight. Tonight... You're going to see just why I'm the next future icon. Get lost. It's time for me to go to my sanctuary because tonight is the biggest match of my career. And if anybody has a problem with that, by the end of tonight, you're answering to the champ now. Down the sector, supreme neck protector. Better want him, kid, Mr. Mepsa. Born and pop, pop the blow is lead from the pressure. Too hot for TV, for sheezy. Too many wanna be hard, be easy. It's all in the together, going all out together. It don't take much to please me. Still, homes are never satisfied like the stones. We don't and don't write and see them selling cross bones. Protecting what I'm writing, don't clash with the titan. Crazy thing about JCWA, expect the unexpected. Damien Jenkins, you're back, yes. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. But you know, I have something really important I need to tell them. Um, how, how you doing, sir? Can you um, ring the bell right quick? Right All right, what up?
Dennis Oh, and the second three-way elimination match in the Platinum Tournament is officially underway. The veteran, the icon, Damon Jenkins, member of Reaper Crew, Joshua Lee, and the shocking return of Joseph Torres. Man, Sam Aaron completely lied to Giovanni Anwar's face during Platinum Season 6, Episode 3, when he took his management representative position. Sam Aaron promised Joseph Torres would not be coming back into the JCWA. But look, there he is right now, officially part of this tournament. Welcome back, Joseph Torres. What a oh, way to man. make a return. And of course, the first thing he does, coming back, attacking Damian Jenkins, former teammates of the elite, now rivals, now enemies. Joseph Torres teaming up, oh my god, with Reaper Crew member Joshua Lee to take out this veteran, this icon, Damian Jenkins. Look at that, Joseph Torres hasn't lost a step, he's been gone one whole season since Red Alert 2, and look, he is back better than ever. Oh man, but honestly, partner, there was a reason Joseph Torres, along with Brandon Cox for that matter, was fired at Red Alert 2, and that is because he's manipulative. He is what is everything wrong with the JCWA, as he does a sharpshooter onto his former friend, Damon Jenkins. Of course, a former friend because Joseph Torres doesn't care about the elite. Joseph Torres doesn't care about friends. All Joseph Torres cares about is himself, and of course, as you know, partner, that will probably also include the JCWA. WA Platinum Championship. Now you listen here partner, when there was the Elite was formed, Joseph Torres went in with the mindset of this is about him, he likes power, and he did whatever he can to conquer power, and he did a very good job at doing that, Joshua Lee with the DDT. Very beautiful DDT onto Damian Jenkins. I mean, I would say very impressive, but I don't find anything impressive about this two-on-one mugging, all because of these guys just motives on the oh, Joseph Torres with a skull crushing finale onto Joshua Lee. I guess that's what he gets for trusting somebody like Joseph Torres but a kick out. I don't think you would want to trust anybody in the Reaper crew either. So it kind of balances out. Every member in the Reaper crew have do such a very wonderful job at performing here in the JCWA. They are just as smart as Joseph Torres. They are on the same level. So he will have a hard time trying to level out Joshua Lee in this match. Joshua Lee is just magnificent. And ooh, what a kick. Yes, but you cannot forget, partner. You cannot forget the icon, the veteran. Damian Jenkins has been here for such a long time. Has had so much history with Joseph Torres. Damon Jenkins also having history with Joshua Lee, as you know, partner. Reaper Crew basically attacked and put Damon Jenkins out of commission at the Holiday 8-Man Garland match in 2015. Exactly, partner, exactly. He took two to three years to recover that? from that last attack, and now man. look at this. Joshua Lee and Joseph Torres now fighting. Coming in here. Like, you own the place, huh? You know owns the place, huh? You know owns the place? It seems like both of these guys, along with Justin Cruz and James Van of the Reaper crew, has had this hate, this anger for Giovanni Anuhar, not liking him, not liking how he is, and maybe that he doesn't support their evil ways, their manipulative ways. Listen, partner, Giovanni was management representative, and he failed. He made it very personal against every person who stood against what he stood for, and that is exactly why he lost his position. Oh, man, well, I don't know if I agree with that with a three count, but Joseph Torres kicks out Sam Aaron here, referee, manager representative, I guess, pulling double duty, saying that he wants to make sure things Joseph are fair. Torres, you really in this tournament right now? Sam! Did we not talk about this on episode three? We were talking about this saying that he was not going to be reinstated. Now you put him in this tournament? Are you kidding me? And you gave me your word. You're a liar. You're a manipulator. And now you just got everybody against me. You try to take my position. Now you got Reaper Crew after me. Now you got Joseph Torres reinstated and Brandon Cox. Why? Why? Why are you trying to like, give me more headaches? What do you have planning? You got my position. Now you just like... You want everybody to go against me. Now I have a problem. While Joseph Torres being distracted by Giovanni Anuar, Damian Jenkins with the upper hand. Damian Jenkins trying to win. That's what you get. I'm done. I'm gone. 
That's good for Joseph Torres after the shit he put Giovanni Anohar through at Red Alert 2. Continuing to be biased even when he lost his position. Oh, oh my god, the mayday by Joshua Lee. Joshua Lee hitting Joseph Torres so hard his One, boot fell off. Two, three, and that's it, Joseph Torres eliminated from this three-way elimination match. He will not go on to the finals of the JCWA Platinum Tournament. Right on. Man, look right at on that. Right boots, partner. Took him out. Joshua Lee, very dominating, very devastating. Let's not count Joshua Lee out in any circumstance, in any situation. Beautiful Taking strikes. it to Damian Jenkins. I mean, I never said anything bad about him as a competitor, even though as a person, honestly, just like Joseph Torres, there's a lot he needs to work on. Damian Jenkins actually fighting the good fight, playing things fair, doing things the right way. And I think that he will prove that that will prevail over all members of the Reaper crew. Look, partner, there is no... Oh, oh, wait a minute! Wait, the hell? Oh, wait, is that... Is yes. that Xavier Rodriguez? Xavier Rodriguez came for the same. What the hell is this? Come on! This is the JCWA Platinum Tournament. And this is how things are going to go down. Xavier Rodriguez, I know, has had a ton of history, a ton of anger towards Damian Jenkins ever since Platinum Season 5, taunting Damian Jenkins to return, beating Damian Jenkins at Path to Red Alert 2. And it doesn't seem like it's enough because after Season 6 and the Best of Brawl, oh, taking Damian Jenkins out. Damian Jenkins was the one who was not able to let it go. Xavier, so clearly the bigger man here. Revenge. And I applaud him for his actions here tonight. Oh, what kind of crap is that, partner? Xavier Rodriguez, all he's done was attack Damian Jenkins. Is he gonna get the cover? Oh, Joshua Lee! Uh, almost! Xavier Rodriguez basically baited Damian Jenkins to come back after he got injured in 2015, all just to attack Damian Jenkins and prove that he is better than the icon. As if it wasn't enough that Xavier beat both Damian Jenkins and the Ors Pereras at Path to Red Alert 2 and eliminated Damian Jenkins at the Best of Brawl main character contract Battle Royale after two low blows. Xavier Rodriguez getting upset that Damian Jenkins is defending himself? Let's not underestimate how long Damian Jenkins has been here and everything he has accomplished for many years. Starring in the movie Murder Avenue, winning Basement Rumble 2013, JCWA's first ever event. Damian Jenkins is one of the biggest veterans, one of the most skilled competitors, and Xavier Rodriguez is going to eventually get what's coming to him. Just like Joshua Lee will hopefully get what's coming to him in this elimination match. Out of everything you just oh. said, hey, hey, wait a minute, it's James Van. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I don't need anybody's help. I don't need your help. Just go back. Just go back. It's okay. I got this. Bro. I got this. Come on. Just just go back. I have this. Come I on, hope Joshua Lee doesn't win because do that will be two members of the Reaper crew in the finals. And that wouldn't be good for the third person with them. Oh, and Damian Jenkins super kicked to the head of Joshua Lee. I think that distraction actually kind of messed up Joshua Lee. Damian Jenkins gets it. No, this is unfair. This is very unfair. Joshua Lee deserves to advance as well. Hey, guess whose fault that was? James Van, Reaper crew member, James Van. They have nobody to blame but him. That was on them. He shouldn't have been out here in the first place. This is the Platinum Tournament for crying out loud. It's not enough that Xavier Rodriguez was out here. Damian Jenkins, the veteran, the icon, moving on to the finals of the JCWA Platinum Tournament. Put your lights out, get this shit to crack and got you feeling with your pipes out. Time for some action. Surfing the avenue, mad at you. Where I used to battle crews, back when that's when that had that attitude. Cover me, I'm going in. Walls closing in. Got us busting yeah. off these pistols. My uh -huh. niggas got issues. Okay. Uh -huh. No, I'll make sure I let them know. Yep. Oh, shit, man. Where is that sure. little weasel, that coward, that chicken shit? Apparently, he didn't get enough of an ass beating at Red Alert 2. Now he wants to mess up my chances to win the JCWA yeah. Platinum Championship. My eyes deceive me, or is this none other than Joseph Torres in the oh flesh without his elite God. members? 
and things just went from bad to a whole hell of a lot worse. And we have the Oris Paredes. The Oris, unless you're going to tell me where Giovanni went, where he's hiding, what hole he crawled into, we have nothing to talk about. Look, who the hell is Giovanni? Bro? Oh my God, do not play dumb with me, you waste of space, you choke. Do not play those games with me. You know exactly where Giovanni is. I bet you guys are working together. Dude, He's a weasel and you are, and there you go. It works. It makes sense. Dude, last time I checked, I don't work for nobody, and I hardly have any help at all. So this Geo person that you're looking for, let's be real, man. I don't know where he is. Okay. I don't right. know who the hell yeah. he even is. I bet you don't know who he is. Okay, all right, so you know what? Then why the hell am I talking to you right now? Why am I not hitting you right now? Oh. Well, I should hit him. There could be a few reasons on why you can't have any physical altercation with me, and that is oh, this. Oh, really? Why is that? Here's what's been going on, in, in case you've been keeping up with updates and whatnot. Management has been contacting me for the past number of weeks. And frankly, management needed a new vision here in the JCWA, and that vision is this. You are looking at now your new general manager here in the JCW. What? Oh my general god, it is the Twilight Are Zone you in sorry, the JCWA. I think I might have misheard Sam, him there. you didn't make him general manager, I right? didn't make him anything. That would be such a horrible decision. Whatever pothead back in management that made you general manager, they're nuts. And you're nuts for even thinking that you can handle the position that I made great. What have you managed in your life? <laughs> okay, sit down. Okay. He's joking. Yeah, that's <laughs> joking. Get your hair in it all, little boy. You got a story to hear about this. Look here. Throughout the past number of years, ever since this federation started, there have been a few people in management that have been low-minded, unfair to talent, Not and me. very corrupted. <laughs> Give on in. Yeah. And that, that, that yeah. goes for everyone, including yourself. Mm -hmm. So management had to call me. I didn't call them. You think I would call them? They called me. Why would and management they, call you? Because they needed a new vision. And the vision that they saw was me. me. No. I was the new vision JCWA yeah. management saw. I was brought in here to replace Giovanni Andujar, restore order, and bring JCWA back to its greatness. Yeah, and isn't that a little I'm the new vision. messed up? That uh, management made you general manager without even notifying him. I'm sure there's some shenanigans or some messed up stuff. Or maybe you begged them or something like that. Why would I beg them when Giovanni didn't even know that he was going to be taking his spot to begin with? No, look, so let's you know be what? fair, gentlemen. Let's if be I fair don't... here. You know what you need to do since you're manager representative. And last time I checked, that's someone with a little more power or a lot more power than the general manager. Why don't you make an announcement or something like that? I got the perfect one. I, I wanted to save this for a different time, but I think you need to know who's in charge Go here, ahead, buddy. Make your announcement. Listen close, this concerns mm. you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I can officially announce JCWA will return for Platinum Season 7. Ooh. And after that, I can officially announce the return of the Platinum Rumble. JCWA Platinum Rumble 2 oh. for the JCWA Platinum Championship. Whoa. Guess how many competitors we got in this one? How many? We got a whopping 20. The We've entire JCWA roster will be in this match. Maybe a few surprises too. So that means you, that means you, and guess who else that means, buddy? Oh, please say Giovanni Anwar. Giovanni Anwar. Oh, you're the best. The yes. Question, though. You see what I am talking about? Look at the decisions the he makes, man. general manager is speaking here. Are you competing? Look, that's none of your concern. You have other things to worry about, apparently. I have other things to worry about? Yeah, you're right. I do have other things to worry about, which is another announcement that management insisted that I make here. Ladies and gentlemen, Wait. as your first Wait. announcement, as your new JCWA general manager, Damian P. Jenkins and Christian Pagan have now reached legendary status in JCWA and in Jet Central Films. What? I what? make the announcements around here. Yeah, Ridiculous. plus those two are traitors. They don't deserve to be legends or even icons for that matter. After They're the ones that disbanded the elite because... <laughs> it's in my announcements. You know what? All I have to know is that Giovanni is going to be at the Platinum Rumble 2, and that's all I need to know. And honestly, I'm happy that you said he's in it too, so I could beat your ass, especially if you're gonna get in the way of me beating Giovanni's ass. So you know what? I'll see you later, doing things the right way, making good decisions, being the manager representative, and I'll see you later when I take you out.
don't you got a job to do? Don't you got to go count to three or something? I got to go make the most historic three count in Jason WA history. Look, I don't know. I don't know where you think you get off. I don't know what makes you think you're qualified for this. What makes you think you can do this over me? But this isn't over, man. Um, See you soon. Yeah, go count to three there, buddy. There's going to be a lot of changes here in the JCWA. Just you wait. It's going to be... General manager? Are you kidding me? Are you... That is a damn shame, man. For shame. That's... That's bad. That's even worse than when Sosa was in general manager position. That wasn't how it was supposed to end. What the actual hell is wrong with you, James Van? Bro, bro, what bro, What is wrong bro, with bro, you? Bro, it, it wasn't supposed to Don't go down Don't like... me! You messed up my match! You cost me the match! Bro! It wasn't supposed to go down like that. I, so I, how I, was it supposed to go down, James? Tell me! Because what it looked like is you costing me a damn match! I was supposed to look like the hero. You were supposed to look guys. like the hero. Really? Is yeah. that what we're here for? It's well, not! We could we could we could be the anti-heroes. Jesus Christ. James! Come on, man, you should know this. We by already now. went over this. We're supposed to fight our own battles. What part of that did you not understand? Honestly, uh, pretty much most of it. Jeez, interesting. Oh god, and Jalen Taylor, you're back? After the ass beating that we gave you? Come on, bro, like, we put you out of commission. How are you even here right now? Uh, well, you guys didn't do as much damage as you thought you did. I, I mean, where's, where's Aaron? Lightning, lightning, zzz, Bonhomme. Aren't uh, you with him? Isn't he your little partner? Or was that ass kicking, uh, your divide? I'm um, sorry, do you not remember me beating him? I honestly kind of forgot who you shot were, bro. Me and him. Well, once, then, once, once we put you out of commission, it was kind of like, bye. Oh, yeah, well, I haven't forgotten about that. So. I mean, we kind of can tell since you're back. Keep bickering amongst yourselves. And, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we will. So, uh, yeah, bro, it really wasn't my fault. I was trying to impress you guys. I'll handle this later. And you, you're lucky on, that you don't have like, to fight me. And you're also lucky that you're not even in this, in this tournament. Yeah, it's the Platinum Tournament, baby. And guess I what? I was almost in it. Right, true. But... Wait a minute. You're not in it. But I was still almost in it more than you were. And you're not in it. Hey, 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 that's on me. But you so don't got nothing to say, bro. You you, you, you weren't even thought about it. Like, you just came up the woodwork, like, trying to get a spot back. And you can't, because this isn't how it used to be. You got to remember that. Uh, good luck, Joe. Sayonara. So as I was saying, bro, it, it really wasn't on purpose. Just, uh, Shit could get menacing, frightening, find help Sometimes I scare myself, myself Tweaking, tweaking off that 2CB high Is he gonna make it TPD high? Thought I was gonna run DMC high I done died and lived again on DMT high See this the type of high that won't come down This the type of high that get you gunned down Easy, easy, trolling OD, huh? Turn TMZ to...
And now, we are up to the final three-way elimination match in the semifinals before we get to the next match, the finals of the JCWA Platinum Tournament. As you know, Damian Jenkins and Justin Cruz of the Reaper Crew will already be in the finals. Who will join them? Will it be Jonathan Ortiz, Deshaun Cullum, or Xavier Rodriguez? What is this, partner? Are they really jumping this man? Are they really doing this? Well, honestly, partner, I don't know if you heard them talk about it earlier, but basically, Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum agree that, you know what? It's the Platinum Tournament. We have to do what we have to do. We might have to play a little unfair, and we might honestly have to eliminate Xavier Rodriguez first, since he is one of these assholes that would honestly do bad and wrong with the JCWA Platinum Championship and a double DDT. Well, guess what, partner? This double teaming does not make you a hero, and it doesn't make you any more of a champion. You have to stand up for yourself, and you have to throw down no matter who it is I mean I, I will admit you know their tactics I don't know there's different ways you can go about doing things but I think both of these competitors realize that one of them definitely needs to be in the finals oh, oh my god double team move again by Jonathan Ortiz and Deshaun Cullum Xavier Rodriguez, honestly, I don't even think deserves to move on to the finals after the shit he just pulled with Damian Jenkins. Look, partner, you need to remember that Xavier was settling a score. That's all they were doing. And now, he's in this match. Oh! That's how you do it. That is exactly what I'm talking about. It is every man for themselves, and they attack, they blatantly attack this man first. And now, Deshaun Collum and Jonathan Ortiz will implode. Yes, well, these two competitors, they realize, yeah, they're going to have to fight because only one person can win this match. Only one person from this three-way elimination match can move on to the finals. Both of these men trying to make sure it is them. Jonathan Ortiz has had this obsession with Justin Cruz lately. Not liking that Justin Cruz has been kind of ignoring him mostly throughout season six, oh. not paying any mind basically undermining him and undermining his credibility and his accomplishments. So now Jonathan Ortiz sort of actually wants to fight Justin Cruz rather than being the victim all the time. But if he wins this match, he will get that. Not only that, if Deshaun Cullum wins this match, ooh, kicking out. He actually continues this winning streak that he's actually had since Backyard Brawl, going through Red Alert 2 and the Best of Brawl, main character contract Battle Royale. Can he make it four wins in a row? Or can Xavier Rodriguez, the veteran, the all-star, veteran and all-star just like Jonathan Ortiz, pull off a win and face off his rival, his opponent, Damian Jenkins, at the finals? We are going to find out. Partner Xavier Rodriguez has been on, a, on an amazing winning streak. Yeah, in fact, he has won three open challenges in recent years. And although he has lost at the best of brawl, main character contract battle royal, he's definitely undefeated when it comes to those. But then Jonathan Ortiz, the man who hasn't been on a winning streak, has been bent out on revenge. You will Ooh. find no peace, Jonathan Ortiz. I guarantee you that the more you keep trying to get revenge on Justin Cruz. But I have faith Xavier will pull through. Alright, well, we're going to find out. Because honestly, partner, I don't think I'd want to see Xavier in the finals. Because he's probably going to do whatever he has to, to cheat and manipulate. And how are we going to crown our first ever JCWA Platinum Champion like that? I would rather have somebody Ooh. like Jonathan Ortiz or Deshaun Cullum. Two men that fight for the good of the cause. Yeah, that fight too. for the good of the people and for what's fair and doing things the right way. Yeah, it may be a little controversial that they did team up on Xavier Rodriguez. But you know if Xavier Rodriguez had the chance to do that very same thing, he would take that opportunity in a heartbeat. Xavier Rodriguez deserves it. Messing with Damian Jenkins. Messing with everyone that he's been messing with. Championship, guys. Look at that partner. You sound just Champions. like Giovanni Anwar. You are just as biased as him. You want the good people to win? How do you know what good and bad is when you will do whatever it takes to win the Platinum Ooh. Championship? How? Xavier Rodriguez with a spear. And Jonathan Ortiz got both 
of his competitors on the ground and wait wait, 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 one, wait a minute one, two, three, Jonathan Ortiz eliminating Deshaun Cullum yes he has been pinned and I'm actually kind of shocked by this partner especially since these two competitors agreed before this match that they were going to eliminate Xavier Rodriguez first man as you see the replay of Deshaun's move the blind man's bluff I bet he wishes he pinned Jonathan Ortiz right after. And Ortiz with the famous sir, doing whatever it takes to win the Platinum Tournament and Championship. But a kick out. But man, I didn't think he was going to do that to Deshaun Cullum, his friend, his partner. But I mean, I guess the tournament makes you do crazy things, partner. Partner, this tournament is not about friends. You seem to keep forgetting Ooh. that. Just like Damian Jenkins and everyone else, this is about one individual winning the Platinum Championship. That is true, partner. Bear. Are you going to do any dirty tactic? Are you going to do any sleazy, manipulative things to get to that point where you feel good about the road you took? Where you feel satisfied about the things and the choices that you've made to step on everybody else's toes to get ahead? I don't support that. I don't support people like Reaper Crew, Joseph Torres, Brandon Cox, and Xavier Rodriguez right here. Oh, and Jonathan Ortiz countering the ankle lock that Xavier Rodriguez was applying, trying to get Jonathan Ortiz to tap out. But Jonathan Ortiz, I think, has a lot more fire than that as we see the replay. Look, partner, these men do whatever they can to do to secure the win and to make oh a name for themselves. Oh my god, the JWO and by Jonathan Ortiz. God, you're just as bad as my other partner. One, Look, man, two, it ooh, doesn't matter almost. who comes out on top, but as long as they have the will and the willpower to succeed. Oh man, I don't know, partner. I kind of disagree there, but in any event, we are down to Xavier Wu with a nice suplex. And Jonathan Ortiz, these two veterans, these two all-stars, both have busted their asses in the JCWA consistently for years. Both have accomplished many things. Xavier's recent open challenge streak, including that win, that victory on Damian Jenkins and Dior's Paredes at Path to Red Alert 2. Not to mention Jonathan Ortiz winning at Backyard Brawl and winning at Hell on Earth 2013 and wins and victories like that. But Xavier Rodriguez, ooh! Oh, but is Jonathan Ortiz focused enough to pull off the win against Xavier Rodriguez? Man, a TKO by Xavier Rodriguez, and now it looks like Xavier might do a spear and put this match away. He might be moving on, partner, to the finals against let's, his nemesis, his adversary, his rival Damon Jenkins, and the leader of the Reaper crew, Justin Cruz. It can happen right here. Jonathan Ortiz... What's gonna happen here, partner? Is he gonna? Oh, oh, wait a minute! No way! Prodigy! What you mean, no way? Didn't you just see Xavier Rodriguez interfered and attacked Damian Jenkins during Damian's match earlier? He is getting a piece of his own medicine. Jonathan no. Ortiz, the future icon, going for the win, and that's it. Unbelievable, partner. Jonathan Ortiz, not focused throughout an entire season, gets the win here. Good. That is what Xavier Rodriguez gets for his attack on Damian Jenkins. He couldn't wait to settle his issues with Damian Jenkins at a later date, perhaps in a one-on-one -on -one match. He had to go and mess up the Platinum Tournament. Well, guess what? Damian Jenkins gave you a taste of your own medicine, and Jonathan Ortiz is one step closer to becoming the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. Isn't this a face you thought you would never see again, huh, JCWA or Joseph? <laughs> Listen, in case you don't know who I am, I'm Jonathan Rojas. I'm the former JCWA general manager. <sighs> Boy, and being here in front of this camera sure brings a lot of memories. You know, having air in and under my puppeteer fingers, you know. Good old memories, but I'm not going to roll down that memory lane. We're here to talk about 
JCWA Platinum Tournament. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is historic. Jonathan Ortiz, Damian Jenkins, and the Reaper Crew leader, Justin Cruz. Now these three, these three, what's, what's so special about these three? Well, I'll tell you. They have it, they're doing it, and they're gonna make it. But only one can take it. So I'll tell you what, tonight, make it your night. Good luck, guys, and make it one hell of a JCWA night. There is nothing more influential, benedictal, or supreme than history being made. And history will be made as the first JCWA Platinum Championship will be ushered in and the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion will be crowned. Now, I don't know if a lot of you remember me, but I am, of course, Brian Yeko Sosa, AKA The Diamond, AKA former general manager, AKA main eventer, main star, icon. It is a title that is earned from the bottom to the top. It is the individual who strives to become the greatest. And that's why that belt is so important. And that belt is the first time in history we had the JCWA Platinum Championship. And look at it right now. We had a tournament and we have tons of great talent, not a doubt on our roster. But look at our three finalists, Damian Jenkins, one of my greatest colleagues from back in the day. And then we have Justin Cruz, a hell of an up and rising star indeed. That's a powerhouse and a half. And then, of course, we have Yonix, my former protege, my, my, my wonderful friend, the, the man who I taught, the man who I sold, the man who I molded into the Onyx that he is. And yes, there was a time that the Onyx, if you look at him, he was dusted. He was messed up. He wasn't doing his job. And then I came out correct again as he's shining. He is shining, I'm telling you, into what the Onyx was always supposed to be. The greatest and most stupendous, the most glamorous, the most beautiful, and the most compassionate title will arrive. And we will crown the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. This is the diamond saying, adieu. Well, hello everyone, JCWA fans around the world. For those who don't know me, my name is Christian Pagan. I am an icon for JCWA, and I just got word from management that both Damian Jenkins and I have officially become JCWA and Jet Central legends. Thank you all the fans who've been watching and supporting both the Jet Central films, which is the main branch of everything, and the JCWA, which is offshoot and also where a lot of our wrestling and cool shit gets done. So thank you very much for everybody who supports it from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of everyone's heart who takes the time to do this. To get, I guess, more about me and why I'm even in front of this camera right now, um, I feel like I should take the time because I owe each and every one of you an explanation about why I've been gone for so long. And the truth is, I've gotten a lot older. I've gotten some aches and pains. And I've also had to take time to reevaluate where I stand in the JCWA. Not that I feel that I may not have it. It's so amazing to see these uh, young competitors go out there and do their thing and while I'm getting caught up in the whirlwind of life, uh, work and all these other things, and plus nursing some old you know, wounds, war wounds, uh, that were well earned and, and probably deserved. Um, it's nice to see these new talents doing their thing and kicking ass, and I love seeing that. It brings so much passion to me. It's why I'm still in front of this camera now. Whoever wins this is not only gonna be the first ever, and I mean first ever, JCWA Platinum Champion, but that champion, it's going to have to worry about the first ever, and this is huge, 20 man, 20 competitor, JCWA Platinum Rumble 2 um, Championship match. And why this is so important? Well, first off, 20 competitors. That's a lot to worry about. Well, 19 if you count the champion. But that's a lot of hungry people coming and coming for that title. And that's, that's a lot of passionate people, a lot of hungry people, a lot of aggressive people, and a lot of violent people. 
and they will be coming for that title. Trust and believe when I tell you that. So you don't want to miss that because that is going to be literally insane. And you don't want to miss any of the action. Trust me. But now, let's stay back in the present. And when I tell you this, these competitors, these three hungry individuals, let me tell you, they will do the title justice. And I promise you that. And I wouldn't co-sign it if I didn't believe it. You have the savage, aggressive, just punishing uh, le re leader of the Reaper crew, Justin Cruz. You have the all heart, all soul, um, burgeoning talent that you have in uh, Jonathan Ortiz. And then you have the never say die, never give up, and uh, tenacious combatant that is the new JCWA and Jet Central legend, Damian Jenkins. Between those three, somebody's gonna get hurt real bad. <laughs> and somebody's gonna win that title. And whoever it is out of the three of them, I promise you it won't be a disappointment. And to the future competitors of the Platinum Rumble too, let me just make one thing clear. Let's put the nice guy act away. Let's put the smile down for a minute. And let me just let every one of you know that if, if for a single, solitary second, and if you think that for one minute that I can't get off my old ass and put any of you down onto the ground with a spear, you don't know me very well. And let me also make it clear, abundantly crystal clear, that if any of you think that you're gonna be the one to put me away, just know that at any time, any, any day, anywhere, any moment, without warning, I will spear you out of your shoes. So to anyone who thinks for a single second that I'm fully, completely done, even at 80, I'll put you down. Don't ever get too comfortable here in a JCWA. In fact, here in this tournament, it's getting me all excited. It's getting me energetic, getting me passionate again. And maybe, just maybe, with the support of your fans, just maybe, Begon himself might might get off my laurels, maybe, maybe for one last run. Should I? Could I? Would I? I don't know. In JCWA, you never know. But just one thing's for certain. Nothing's ever certain in the JCWA. And I'll leave you with that. Closing down the sector, supreme neck protector Better want him, kid, Mr. Mepsa 
falling pop. Fuck up with lead from the pressure. Too hot for TV, for sheezy. Too many wanna be hard, be easy. It's Mine. all in the together, going all out together. It don't take much to please me. Still, homes are never satisfied like the stones. We don't condone white and see them selling crossbones. Protecting what I'm writing. Don't clash with the titan. Who blasts with a license to kill rap recitants? Come on, in the zone Mine. with your nigga from the group home to cow. Fuck your lifestyle. Put your lights out. Get this shit to crack and got you feeling with your pipes out. Time for some action. Partner, the main event of the JCWA Platinum Tournament, the finals. Jonathan Ortiz, Justin Cruz of the Reaper Crew, Damian Jenkins, the veteran, all advancing from their three-way elimination matches. This is the time now. This is it, John. Yeah. Look, look at that. What? Hey, you got you said it yourself, partner. You have to do what you have to do. Both of these competitors trying to take out the biggest threat. Elimination rules. Once one person is eliminated, it will be down to two of these men. And then one. That one partner will make history. Will accomplish one of the biggest things in JCWA history. Becoming the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. I cannot stress enough how important this is. How historic this is in JCWA history. What we're witnessing right now. My partner, this, a bulldog by Jonathan this is Ortiz. the match where every guy in this match puts it on the line. Jonathan yes. Ortiz, Damian Jenkins, Justin Cruz, the leader of the Reaper Crew, will go the distance. Who will prevail in this match? That is true, partner. Oh, oh, Justin Cruz of the Reaper Crew trying to make it him. Trying to take out Jonathan Ortiz, as you know, partner. The tons upon tons of history between these two men. Their rivalry, all, I guess you can say, technically started at the Platinum Rumble. Speaking of the Platinum Rumble, as you heard, Sam Aaron confirmed that after Season 7 of Platinum, we are going to have the Platinum Rumble 2, a 20-man Platinum Rumble, where whoever wins this three-way finals, three-way elimination match, will have to put their title on the line against the entire roster. Yes, partner. The person who goes into this with the victory will go on to Platinum Rumble 2 and they will have to defend. Yes, talk about your first title defense. That is going to be huge. I was the winner from the start. A big deal for whoever not only wins the championship, but everybody in that match. Of course, all depending on what number you get. Owen, Damon Jenkins kicking out. Justin Cruz of the Reaper Crew. Luckily, Joshua Lee didn't make it to this match, to the finals, because otherwise, this would be a completely different scenario. And they would take out the third guy. But the thing is, would they actually take out each other after that? That's the part I'm wondering. Or will they think that they both can be champion? Because that's not how it works around here. They can only be one JCWA Platinum Champion. And hopefully it is somebody with a little bit of morals and self-respect. Like Damian Jenkins or Jonathan Ortiz. Oh, almost getting Justin Cruz, but not quite. Partner, Justin Cruz specifically said he will be bringing home the champion to Reaper Crew. The Reaper Crew will be champion. I can sense it. The power he's bringing into this match. Joshua Lee didn't make it, but you better know damn well he was yeah. worth it. He is able to do it in the future someday. Justin Cruz is just going to have to pull it off tonight. Backbreaker. All the competitors that were eliminated in the earlier matches just know how important it is that you guys even got to be in the JCWA Platinum Tournament. Going out to Joshua Lee, along with Deshaun Cullum, Xavier Rodriguez, Marlon Black, Brandon Cox. And shockingly to say, Joseph kick. Torres back. Justin Cruz of the Reaper Crew still demolishing and destroying anyone in his path. But not if the icon, or I should say now, the legend Damian Jenkins has anything to say about it. Trying to take out both of these competitors. Damian Jenkins 
being the most seasoned in this match. The member that has been in Jet Central Films the longest out of all three of these competitors. But you can't leave out. Jonathan Ortiz, the future icon, has been fighting and building up with Justin Cruz all throughout the events, all throughout Platinum Seasons 4, 5, and 6 as well. Although Justin Cruz tried to ignore Ortiz during most of Season 6. With a dive on top of Jonathan Ortiz. And sad to say, even though I don't respect how he handles his business, Justin Cruz is a favorite as well. All of these guys yeah. are. Any of these men, but, competitors can but, win. And, oh my, come on! He's back! This is the finals we're talking about. This is the finals. Whoever wins this match will achieve history. And Xavier Rodriguez, what the hell is this man doing here? Is he going to take out all of them? Come on! This is ridiculous. I know you have issues and beef with Damian Jenkins, but are you going to completely ruin every appearance Damian Jenkins makes in a match? Is this how it's going to be, Xavier Rodriguez? Are you obsessed with Damian Jenkins? And a spear! Come on! What the hell kind of crap is that? Look at that! Look at that! What? And Damian Jenkins eliminated from this match. He will not be the first JCWA Platinum Champion all because of this man. Thanks to Xavier Rodriguez, he has ruined Damian Jenkins in this tournament. Partner, what do you think? I think this is a travesty. I think this kind of shit shouldn't be allowed. Sam Aaron isn't even doing anything about all of this crap that has been going on in this tournament. Things has been going completely out of control. Order needs to be maintained because look at the kind of crap that happens. Now, one of the greatest members in JCW and Just Central Films history gets cheated out of the victory, gets cheated, robbed out of the JCWA Platinum Championship all because of Xavier Rodriguez wanting to be salty. We are down to two people partner. Oh, man. Yes, we are. I try to leave you alone. I try not to bother you. You get in my way again. I told you, let it go. Your ego. The leader of the Reaper crew, Justin Cruz, the future you. icon, I'm the veteran, the all-star, Jonathan Ortiz. These guys crossed paths since Platinum Rumble, since Hallway Havoc, going through the Good vs. Evil Gauntlet, Backyard Brawl, Red Alert 2, Best of Brawl, and now here at the Platinum Tournament, as what Jonathan Ortiz, we see. Is he gonna get the pin? Two. Oh, and the kick out. Justin Cruz is not gonna give up that easy tonight. Jonathan Ortiz, you are in this match Full of vengeance and hate towards Justin Cruz. Justin Cruz has been done with you since Red Alert 2. And now you're going to have to put that aside in order to beat this monster. Yeah, all because and all since, I should say, Red Alert 2, Justin Cruz has had this attitude of I'm not going to take Jonathan Ortiz seriously. I'm just going to ignore him because he's beneath me. But you can't really do that anymore, can you? Now you're forced with the neck breaker by Jonathan Ortiz to face the fact that Jonathan Ortiz is one of the top competitors in the JCWA. Does have a ton of heart. Does have a ton of energy and strength and inner strength in him as well as outer strength. And the will to survive and the will to become the first ever JCWA Platinum Champion. I think you're confused, partner. It is Jonathan Ortiz Ooh. who is stuck now, and he has to find every way and pull out a stop to defeat this monster right here. Justin Cruz has been on the top of his game, Ooh. and now Curse he down. has to look for anything in order to defeat this man. Oh, and it looks like he might be able to defeat him there, but no. We are witnessing history. Jonathan Ortiz and Justin Cruz realizes that as well. I'm sure his other teammates of the Reaper crew is watching in the back as they well as they saw Cullum and just about everybody really partner. I'm sorry. What's gonna happen? What's going on? I'm sorry. Oh Jonathan oh my god Justin Cruz baited him Justin With the Cruz great right hook Man. Stalking him like a shark in the water. These Reaper Crew monsters. What oh my spear? god. Devastation is their middle name. 
especially when it comes to the JCWA participating in matches like this. Justin Cruz realizes that if he wins the JCWA Platinum Championship, that is not only a big victory for him, but the Reaper crew as well. So I know his partners are going to make it seem like they're all champions because they all do all these dirty and mindless tactics to get the job done just like him. What a suplex partner. You sound like you're in denial. and You know Jonathan Ortiz is backed up in a corner now. Oh, man, he is. But you know what? Never count Jonathan Ortiz out. Justin Cruz should know better than to count him out. Unless he wants to get beaten oh. again like a backyard brawl. But is he going to do it? Stay. Is he going to do Power it? Power slam. And is that it? No. What a kick out. No. Jonathan Ortiz. I think that might have been the first time ever, partner, that somebody has kicked out of a doomsday power slam. Justin Cruz is shocked himself. My God, that shows how much Jonathan Ortiz wants this, how much Jonathan Ortiz feels he needs this. What better way to climb back to the top of the mountain after a devastating loss by Justin Cruz at Red Alert 2 than to win the JCWA Platinum Championship. I told you. Wait a minute, Justin Cruz is one not going to make it that one easy. One more, Justin Cruz, you He's can do it. You can do it. He's not going to make it that easy at all with another oh. Doomsday Power Slam. Is this oh. it? Oh, man. One, Could we see two, it? Two, three, And your winner yes. and new and first JCWA oh, Platinum oh, Champion, oh, the leader oh, of the man. Reaper Crew, Justin Cruz. Justin Cruz told every single person this is his moment. My God, Justin Cruz making history, achieving history. The biggest title, the biggest honor, the biggest trophy in the JCWA today, the JCWA Platinum Championship. Man, if we thought Justin Cruz was bad before and the Reaper Cruz bad before, I can only imagine how bad they're going to be now that they have that championship in their possession. Oh, partner, I told you, I told you before, you denied him, you lacked faith in Justin Cruz. You denied it, everyone denied it, he went in telling everyone this is his destiny, he is destined to win this and he pulled it off. Man, Jonathan Ortiz tried his best, but at the end of the day, look at that. Justin Cruz reigns supreme and wins the first ever JCWA Platinum Tournament and the first ever JCWA Platinum Championship, all Jonathan can do now. Is look on. He almost got it. Don't count yourself out. You did everything you could, and you were so close to winning that title. You were the man, but you know what? Justin Cruz this night was honestly the man just a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Congratulations.